let's uh, just start off with a little bit about about the two guys. So I'll start with start with Floyd. Um, tell us tell us about this fella alongside you. Tell us um, a little bit about him, about his background, about he, about I mean, what he's about. He's like he's like my son. You know, he's like my son. I love him. We've been through a lot. You know, even in the short period of time that we've been together. You know, he's made some decisions that I wasn't too fond of. So that's why I try to keep him on the right path. I don't want him making any mistakes, you know, like myself. When his career is, is over, I want him to have something when his career is over. As you know, as far as early on, I want him buying real estate. I want to make him the smart investments early. I don't want him to wait too late because boxing is short term. And when, you, when, it, when you're a businessman, that lasts forever. And Frank has been around the sport forever. Very, very smart, shrewd businessman. And that's what it's about. But his background. You had it tough, but I mean, he really has. I mean, he can kind of enlighten you when he didn't live. He lived in just a room. You know, imagine a home living in like an apart. It was an apartment building, if I'm not mistaken. But they lived in just the room, just in a room. And some days, him and his, I think, two brothers or three brothers won't even eat for days, for days. So um, the mother would leave them at home for four or five for four or five days with no one there. So child protective cust uh, child protective had to come get them and take them away. So his he had a, a roller coaster ride, roller coaster ride. Me, and my father was shot by my mother brother. Um, his mother was on drugs, my mother was on drugs. We had a real real rough background. And you know, we're speaking with, you know, one of the Walsh brothers because they come from a fighting family also. Um, they had it rough also. So, you know, most of the time when you're faced with a rough background or, or rough obstacles, that make you strive and work that much harder when, when you're doing whatever you're doing or when you're trying to get to a certain level. Tell us a little bit more about that, uh, Javante. I mean, growing up, life was life was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, it was hard. You know, um, actually, you know, even just growing up, being a little older, you know, start roaming the streets and things like that. You know, people in the gym, you know, that I looked up to um, while they was in the gym. You know, them, them guys are dead or in jail, you know. So they showed me the route that if you take the street route, you know, or if you stay in the gym. You know, I was one of the guys that stayed in the gym no matter um, what was going on on the outside of the gym. So if you, if you hadn't boxed, if you hadn't gone down to the gym, do you think we, you might not have been here today to have this conversation? Yes, I would definitely be in jail or dead, you know, but, um, you know, I stayed in the gym, you know, and a few years later, I'm signed to one of the best fighters ever. You know, it's crazy when I think about what you just asked him. The first thing, before I brought him with Mayweather Promotions, I told him, we need to move your mother, because he still was in the inner city. He still was in a rough background. And someone had ran in his mother's house, kicked in his mother's door when he found out that he was involved with us. So my thing is to, for, for a fighter to be able to train comf comfortable, we must make, put his family in a comfortable environment. So that's what we wanted to do. I'm always telling him about family first, family first. And this kid been through a lot already. And he's been through a lot with me, even though he's quiet, Sometimes he can surround himself with the wrong individual. And I don't want him to go back to the drum boy. He wants to hang out in the inner city because that's where he comes from. But I tell him we have to leave that alone. That's in the past. We're looking to bigger and better things in the future. Liam, tell us a bit about your background as well because we hear Javante from a, a, a difficult upbringing. But it's not exactly been a, a bed of roses for you, has it? So you and your brothers, you know, you're kind of strong together. Yeah, yeah. And um, listening to Javonta's background there, it certainly hasn't been that rough. I'm not going to come here and say. But um, it's not been easy. Everyone has everyone has um, problems in life. We had problems. We um, And like you say, as, as that three brothers together, it merged us together. We're, um, we're we know, we're with each other every day, all day, every day. Um, but like life... Like, this is life, isn't it? It's no, no one said it was going to be easy, you know. You've just got to keep going and, and stay positive. And like, like your man here, you're providing for your family, providing yeah. for your future, building a future. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that's why we're here. You know, we we love to fight and we want to win belts, but 
you know, we need to provide for our families, so. Frank, tell us a bit about this fellow from your perspective as, uh, as his promoter. He's been a, a good fighter for a long time now. He has, you know, he didn't, he wasn't in a cardboard box in the bottom of a canal. He didn't live in, you know, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's been a fantastic fighter and he's just been unlucky. He's had a lot of injuries. He's had, he was involved in a bad car crash when he was going to fight Ricky Burns for the title. And I think he would have won that fight and he'd have been in a pretty similar position as Javonta's in a young, young world champion. But he's overcome all that. He's had some good wins and I think he's a very underestimated fighter. You know, I like to think I know my boxers. I like to think that, you know, we, we make the right moves at the right time. But he's got a fantastic style. He's got a good jab. We know he can fight. We know if he, he's got to get down in the trenches, he'll stand his ground and he can trade. I like everything about him. And I think his last performance was against a good, a good, good fighter who didn't get a look in against him. You know, he boxed really well. And that's what I like about him. He's adaptable and good fighters can adapt. He's the master here. You adapt. Good fighters, they can look at an opponent, they've got plans A, B and C. And he's a guy who can bring A, B and C to the ring. And I think that's why, for us, at this side of the table, you know, we feel that we made the, the, the right move in, in getting this fight on over here and we feel that he, he will win it. What do you think of him? What do you think of him as a fighter? Because we saw him against yeah. Pedraza and looked uh, he's impressive. A fighter, he? He's a good fighter. I've, 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 you, your man is Floyd, he's told us he's the future of boxing, you know. He's a future star, so he's a good fighter. He's, I was impressed with his win against Pedraza. I've seen other fights on YouTube, which I've been semi-impressed with, and he's a decent fighter. How, was, how much, though, was it down to him being outstanding against Pedraza and Pedraza yeah. actually having a bad day? No, I don't, think, I don't think you should take any credit away from Javonta for that. Um, Pedraza will tell you he dead at the way, well, aren't we all, you know? You know, you can't, he's, I don't think you can take any credit away from the performance, no. I think it was a great mm. performance. Fabulous performance. Yeah, it was a great performance. How did, you, uh, how did you rate your performance that night? I did okay. Yeah, um. <laughs> that wasn't the best tank. No. He won and that wasn't the best, that wasn't the best tank. Um, can he get better? Absolutely. I mean, he's still young, he's still a puppy. But you know, um, he has the will to win. And at his age, you'd still got a hell of a lot to do, haven't you? You weren't, uh, you weren't putting the diamonds around your wrist when you were his age. Uh, when I was his age, um, he got diamonds around his wrist too. You know, um, you know, our background is, you know, our background is Africa. We come from golden diamonds, so that's our background. You know, he got a pretty nice watch on too. I see him looking at his watch, and pretty nice cufflinks also. But you know, we like the funny things in life. You know, we don't go out here and, and, and bust our ass and strive, I mean, and run those hard roads and hit those heavy bags and get bumps and bruises not to not to get the funny things in life. So we like the funny things in life. We we Flight like forward. we got Bugattis, we got private jets, we got it all. We have, we own skyscrapers, we have we have a lot. You know, we make smart investments. But one thing about us, we're not through. We here to kick ass. This is the important thing, isn't it? The belt that you've got. No, that's not the only. That's not the only thing that's important. He want more. He want more. And um, we look forward to coming over to UK, working with Frank, um, for a long time. This ain't the first fight that we're going to do. This just. This is just the start of a long relationship. I mean, a very very long relationship. Like I said when I was on the podium earlier, it's the U.S. The promoters in the U.S don't want to work together. They're worried about, I want this, I want this, I want this. Man, let the fighters get what they have to get, and we step back and um, get the fans what they want to see. The fans want to see excitement, so it shouldn't have nothing to do with the promoters. Frank is easy to work with, very, very easy. Chivante, you and Floyd must have had a, a very close look at him before the decision was made to take the fight. What do you reckon to him as a, as a fighter? He's a good fighter. you know. Um... Floyd called me and asked me, did, you know, um, not did I want to take the fight, but did I want to fight in the UK, you know. So I think it doesn't matter where I fight at, you know, as long as he get his chance, you know, he get a fair shake and I get a fair shake. It doesn't matter where we can fight at. We could be underwater as long as we get the fight done. They think that 
experience and adaptability maybe is the key that they that they know more than you do. What would you say to well, that? The people the people around him would say that he's got more experience than you, maybe more adaptable, maybe he's he's been there and been in difficult situations in the ring more than you have. I don't think he has more experience than me. And uh, again, I'm saying that to one of the you know, the most important person in boxing, you know, and, you know, I think I don't think he had, you know, more experience than me, much quicker well, than me, do, or more powerful. I don't want to cut him off, but what we do in our gym, what we do where we live at, we, it's, everything is not, we don't glorify everything that we do. In our gym, we have different world champions. We may have Errol Spence, Adrian Broner, Javante Tank Davis, I mean, the list goes on and on in our gym. Top fighters boxing one another, boxing one another, but we don't broadcast that out there to the world. We have top fighters in our gym boxing one another. We don't box by no bell, uh, a minute ranch. We we like, yo, put if, put them in there. The best should fight the best. Uh, the best fighters should work with the best fighters, and that's what we want to do. There's no friends in boxing. You know, out of all my fighters, it's been two fighters. Tank, Tank has been one of the fighters. Badu Jack has been another fighter. To say, they got the mentality like that I have. My mentality is this. I don't have no friends in boxing. I may shake your hand. I may go out to eat with you, but you're not my friend. I'm trying to be the best, and I'm trying to get to the pinnacle. And I, and I, and I always install that in Tank. Liam, what do you reckon when he basically says, no, you've not got more experience? He may might have an argument. Um, he had 221 amateur fights, I had 40. I had six senior fights, that's all. So he's got, he's got possibly has got more experience than me. It's, um, that's not, I don't think experience will win the fight here. I've, um, I've been the 12 round distance four or five times. Tank's only ever done nine rounds once, I think, or eight rounds, and then finished his opponent in the ninth. Um, so, so he might have a point, but whoever, irrelevant to who he fought and who I fought, come the night, it's who's going to perform on that night. And when we get down and dirty and serious, we'll see who lasts, we'll see who digs in, we'll see who goes to the well. Well, he told, you know what Tank told his last guy, I think it's always kill to be killed. Simple I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, kill I'm, kill. I'm on that all day. I'm well, don't worry. If you, if you if you talking about killer be killed, don't worry. <laughs> you gonna get killed. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> when they talking about killer be killed, don't worry. And you that. say you say you got a brother in fight, he gonna get it next from you. I'm in that. And the other brother gonna get it next. I follow that motto all the way. I follow that motto all the way. Well, bring your brother on there. He want to sit down. He want to talk. <laughs> Shit, send him on down. No one to get worded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. He don't get worried. Cause one thing we do know, one thing we do know, we go after we kick your ass. We're gonna dust you off and then probably put you over there with one or another. You guy. ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, we're gonna you dust you. Fight him, <laughs> it's him. <laughs> no, because you gotta realize. And if I'm fighting you, I want a lot more money. Don't worry. <laughs> so, you know, you have, you have to realize when he faced Pedroza. He told is that it's one thing that he told his corner. I'm not listening to y'all. I'm listening to him. I have the experience. No matter how much I talk, I ain't just talk. I go out there and produce. So how do you beat him, Liam? What do you reckon? Why Fine, do you reckon? Don't, don't get in there. <laughs> not him. Don't get in there. <laughs> him. Fake or injury. H hit him more You're times than he hits me. You're not fighting Floyd. Hit him more times than he hits me. That's about right, isn't it? Yes. That's what it is. He's got to hit him more times, times than he hits me. I know you're not fighting. You're not fighting Floyd Money Mayweather. You fighting the, the new pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> oh boy. Is it intimidating? No, it's not. When you look across. It's entertaining. It's just what, what's, his, what's your age? <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Oh, woo! You I'm an old man. man. I'm well past it. I'm well past it. <laughs> Boy, all you got to do is one thing. Come on, then. Point to the easy word. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it's going to be We're good. We're not going to play. It's going to be good. We're not going to play. As you know, Floyd, age, you've seen you at your age. What a great fight you've been at your no, age. No, we're not going to talk about <laughs> that. Age, age is not, a number. I thought it was all about age you. Age is a number. Come on. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah, I'm so am I. So am I. So am I. I'm 30. I'm, I'm past it. This is a walkover. This oh, is. Man, I'll, gonna... I'll tell you, styles make fights, and this is the styles will make this an entertaining and competitive. And we were and so worried fight. about the fight, we wouldn't even came over here. Yeah, no, we so I get worried. that. I get that, and, I, said, and I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Listen, we said, Tank said. Soon I gave the name. I gave him the name. He said, "I don't care what the name is. I don't care where we got to go. Make it happen." I don't believe that. What do you think <laughs> about? What do you think? You don't believe it? No, no, no. He, what do you think? It's just money. That's yeah. brought it here. Yeah. No, it's a, look, let me tell you that. I'm a mandatory challenger. I ain't been giving nothing mandatory. here. No one's giving me nothing. You ain't giving me nothing. Floyd ain't position. giving me nothing. I earned this position. You, had, you had you had to come here because Frank done the business. That's why. Oh, uh, we fucked Pedraza up. Yeah. We fucked him up with ease. Yeah, I ain't oh, not Pedraza. I can assure yeah, you. No, you can't. You may not. You, I don't think you can beat Pedraza. <laughs> actually. Yeah. But well, shit, this is something totally different when you're facing this boy right here. We'll see. We'll see. How much do you think the fans are going to be a, a factor in this? Because, you know, I mean, they, hey, they're not going to be in the ring. But okay, that's what I want you to know. There's going to be a lot of them there. The same thing they thought with Ricky Hatton. Oh, yeah, he hit Castillo with a body shot. That's Castillo. This ain't Mayweather. <laughs> and that's right. Take it and easy you on would him. say. And, and, and you, in this, you in this country, take it easy on him. Yeah. And I'll tell you, <laughs> Floyd's right what he's saying about that, you know, that fight. But he ain't Floyd. Yeah, we'll see whether he's Floyd. He's the new comment. This is Liam, and I'm telling you, this is there's going to be a big shock on the night. I'm gonna sit right. I don't think it's a big. I don't think it's that big of a shock. I don't think. I'm just telling you, it's not for me. Yeah, we can bet on it if you want to. I don't think it's that big of a shock. You a betting man? You can bet. I am a betting man. Okay. Oh, there we go. Because I already know. I mean, I mean, all you gotta do is put us on the and I already know. Just put us on an even playing field, and we're going to make it happen. It's got to be even. We yeah, want, it, gonna, I don't want that any other way. No man, you, man, you gonna talk, right. man, you going to talk we're behind gonna the scenes, because we're going to bet. Yeah. Because so <sighs> I already know, we, will, we, we, we don't just believe in our man. On a scale from 1 to 100, we believe in our man um, 120%. <laughs> but you know with me, I'm 125%. Okay. This is going to be a special, special evening. So if I'm at 120 you at 125. What, well, we at 245? 245. Okay. Out, out, to, out of 100. We're doing well. Liam, the Farmy Army, though, to go back to my original question, with all due apologies, they are going to be there in force, and you're going to get some serious support. Yeah. No, the support will be great, as always. It'll be the, the noise, the atmosphere, and they'll be brilliant. Um, it'll be... A, it'll, the, and it's nice to repair them as well. You know, they've supported me from day one. From day one, hundreds and hundreds of fans coming to watch me on four-round fights and stuff. So it'd be nice to... be nice to repair them. Do you feed off that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, they're, they're, they've got to work nine to five every day, earn money to come and watch me fight. I, I must perform. I must give them a good night, you know. It's, it's, just, it's the least I can do. Does a, does a hostile atmosphere, because it's probably going to be that, does a hostile atmosphere worry? No worries. As long as I'm there with my team, uh, you know, we're there together. There's no worries. It comes from Baltimore. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's a country. tough place where it comes from. Country. Country. Okay, yeah. so, last question. You've got to get off the, uh, off the fence, if indeed you are remotely on the fence, which I suspect not, and tell us, exactly, in your opinion, how this fight's going to pan out. Who's going to win, how and why? I believe. I don't think he'll make it past the sixth round. Well, that's pretty good. He won't make it past. Mm -hmm. Well, it all depends on what you want to do. We may want to, we may, we, we can stretch him a little bit. We can take him like to the ninth or the 10th. Boy, if you want to make it early, you may take him out in the, in the, in the first, but then, Frank may not let us come over here no more, so stretch it. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit before you stretch it. Okay. 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 Well, I'm saying, Frank. Liam. Yeah, these guys need to go to the comedy club. It's not far from here. Yeah, you're right. And then guess what? <laughs> uh, you know, and you already know what we what we do at the comedy club. Because only it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna only be one comedian at the end of the night. How does it go? You're I gonna win. come out of this I as win. the new champion? 100. percent I'm not here for any other reason. Just that belt. 
Frank? Okay. I agree. Okay, well, listen. Bet. All I got to say is bet. We, be we believe it, I mean, bet. What do you want to bet? Two million, 10 million, 50 million? We bet whatever on that, man. We believe it, I mean. Bet the money. 10 quid, dude. Money on the wood made the bet go good. Money out of sight might start another fight. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in our man. We already know. Just like um, the last time, um, I can't, the last time I had to come conquer a country, <laughs> I, had, I just conquered um, Haiti. I, had to con I conquered Haiti. I conquered the Philippines. I conquered um, Puerto Rico. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, you can, we can keep going on, and I definitely conquered the UK because I'm the undefeated king. You know what I'm saying? That's what you know the UK stands for, the undefeated king. But you know what I want you to do? Take it easy on them. Okay. Cause you didn't even go hard on for Charles, did you? No. Was it easy? Yeah. How easy was it? Like on a scale from one to ten, how easy was it? Nine point five. Okay. <laughs> that was super easy. Man. You know what I want you to do? Don't take it no, easy. No, yeah, yeah, I can't go Don't any. I can't go any other way. You're going there. This go is hard, your future. Go you're go hard. I go home. Go hard. I can only go hard. That's all I can do. That's all I prefer. Frank, I Frank, I want to say you done a fucking remarkable job <laughs> with getting him the right fights <laughs> to get to this point. <laughs> Frank, you done. Give it, have you got box record? Now? Have you had a look at this guy's record? And guess what? And, and that's how good yeah, he is. He's done a great job. And guess <laughs> he's what? He's done a great job. You've done a great job. Here, have a look for and, that. And guess what? You've done a great job. I applaud And he you. did what he's supposed to do. Whoever he put in front of him, yeah. whether the record was good or bad, yeah. he smoked him. So did I. And let me see. When he got to the fighter that was, let me see. When he got to the fighter that was, what, where we at? Who the fuck is Hector Lopez? We didn't care about all that. <laughs> we'll get to the... That's his opponent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm, I'm, check, I'm checking you out right now. All right, go on then. Frank done a great job, I agree. But so did you. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you know what? The records mean nothing. All yeah, that means that's, something that's is like, to fight on the night. That's all that matters. First time you've seen it, you're stubborn. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know what's going well, on. Tell you what, this, There's yeah. only one problem with this. Your name ain't on here. No, it will be soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a big L next to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, L L Leonard. That's the only L we know is Leonard. <laughs> that's the only L we know is Leonard Elevy. That's the big L. <laughs> the big L, yeah. And we call him uh, the big L. That's what we call Leonard. We call him big L within our company. Oh, man. So easy. Right, he's, look, he's looking after that for you. Yeah, it's keep so, it, keep He's apology. looking after that for you. Boy, you you a cold, you a cold piece of work. <laughs> you you a young <laughs> buck. You just and one thing you told me, you got mad at me. You was like, you not matching me. You not putting enough tough tough competition in there. So you, you just beat one undefeated fighter, right? Dethroned him. Right. Okay. You got another fighter that's undefeated. You know what you are gonna do? Dethrone him too. You gonna conquer his country. The same thing I do. Everything all right. We'll see. Well, thank, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks thank for your time. You. It's thank going to be you. a great fight, I am sure. And it's one not to miss.